implants or expensive you look, surgeries. This guy, no. If you or a loved one can't sleep because of those frequent. Right. I'm being harassed by these adverts. It is listening in to things that we are saying and doing, and it is causing upset and distress. Even Rob F. Kennedy Jr. has talked about this. Well, he's talking to his wife, and then adverts are popping up when he's in bed with his wife or in the house. Like, you know, about his teeth or whatever and stuff like that. Th this is... Ta we are poor people who can't afford to go ad-free. This is the harassment. If you don't pay up, you will continually be harassed. And even if you get rid of the ads, the phone's still listening in to you. I don't see how it can lawfully be working when you're sat in the doctor's waiting room or even going to speak to the doctor because that's private and it's not like PayPal when you've got a secure environment then now the doctors have sent out um, emails to everyone saying that um, on medical records people can get a full medical record access online that means that everyone's complete entire Medical record, when they're going on, on the computer, I don't think it's going to have uh, PayPal-level security when you're just browsing on it. Because the bank is secure, but I don't think it has that level of security. And there's other apps. I mean, when you're even on the computer looking at medical records, you've got your phone next to you. I don't see how they can work this. I don't see how they can work it. And this is the thing with the whole COVID, the image of sitting, sitting in the doctors with your mouth covered up by a mask. They knew there was a uh, illegal glitch in their whole plans, the industrial military complex that wants to do this. And they're tra now they're spreading the next phase. They're trying to get everyone to go on their computer at home and have the medical records when all these phones listening in, Google and so forth, is unlawful. And the Advertising Standards Authority and the um, Ofcom are doing nothing, nothing at all. I'm not the only person who is concerned about this. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is concerned about it. Many people are concerned about it. This is the elite platforms and corporate elite taking over and just doing what they want to us. None of the mobile phones had this technology. We were... We were threatened with Trojans and malware and stuff. And all those <clears throat> internet threats. As these companies get, the get you to buy the phone and get you to like the phone and want the phone, claim it's customizable, then they, once you are dependent on the phone and don't want to give it up and you're committed to contracts for two years at a time, they're adding things on. Now, if you don't accept, submit consent legally to everything they're doing, it won't work because like Amazon app, if you don't update it, it stops working. It, it, it will not function with your phone unless you keep updating it because the business has made it so it won't work. It won't be compatible unless you're always updating and consenting. And as they're updating and consenting, they're listening more and more. Oh, now it has to listen in or it won't function. Now it's got to do this or it won't function. What they're doing is they're manipulating it. So for them, you have to accept everything that they whim and will and want to do with you. And that is um, entrapment from the start with these mobile phones. The way they're doing it is entrapment. It might seem harmless. It might seem, oh, it's for your good. We're doing you a good service. It's a very useful tool. What they'll say, Oppo or um, T-Mobile or EE, when you ring up and complain about these Google apps and all these ads, is, oh, it's good for you. It's something for you. No, it's not good for you when you have to have it if, unless you pay up because you're, you, you have, you're having to put up with it because you won't hand them more money over. You bought the phone, you paid for the contract, you paid for the um, data, you know, um, and now you've got to pay more money over or you will be targeted. This is like Jeremy Corbyn getting targeted uh, when he's just innocently walking around and they're shooting a target at him. I don't like it. If someone in the, in the bus station... In the bus station, 
on the tannoid. If anyone in this bus station makes you feel uncomfortable, go report it to a security guard. You can't even look at someone now, right? Yet they've got all these dodgy graphics on the buses. They've got the very uncomfortable buses, talking buses, antisocial buses like the London Tube, uh, repetitive, brainwashing, talking buses, drilling messages into you. That's not even to mention the beep, 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 JCBs that destroy eardrums or the planes flying over or, you know, um, the McDonald's whistle, which is, you know, you can't protect yourself from it in the house because it's the, the note is designed to go through walls. There is a serious problem with this whole thing. And it's not innocent. It's not something and nothing. Robert F. K. Jr. is aware of this and many other people as well. Like, you know, Russell Brand, Jimmy Dore, you know, John, John Campbell. This is not innocent. We've got to put up with things that we don't like that they're doing to us, targeting even areas, groups. Tracy Brabin for the mayor can target an entire village or a town now to get voted for mayor. She can make sure that everyone in the area on YouTube hears that message. This can target people. It, if you wanted to petition the area to oppose a building site, they could just get their friend's pal who's got a business to conjure up an advert with a good funny joke which might be nothing to do with building, it might be to do with selling chocolate, but it might have a political message in it that is like, you know, jokes about, you know, oh, you know, uh, having a crap house or not having a good enough house, or it might be selling chocolate, but play on that and blanket target the whole village. We've, it, we're, oh, we're facing very serious, absolutely genius but diabolical opposition forces now and the Advertising and Standards Authority and Ofcom are not taking it seriously enough. When you go on the website, the latest adverts that they've been acting against is, you know, a jelly killer yoghurt. They think that's funny. Oh, it's a killer yoghurt. It's going to kill you. Oh, yeah, you know, that. They're, they're completely... They're either trying to pretend that this doesn't exist, this problem, or they are championing the whole thing. They, do, they want to be there so you can report all these ads, not report the framework of the adverts, the entire basis of it. Because after all, um, you know, with the new framework for the ad work, ad, adverts is a new entire, um, you know, advertising standards agency and Ofcom army. They're only just starting to moderate this stuff. They've got like, lots of work to do now with this. This is their new bread and butter this is their new, um, you know, this is what their, their the department's going to thrive on. They're not going to shut the whole thing down. They won't have anything to do then, you know. How about blocking this? Well, I could block this, but the amount of time it takes to even load, they used to have ones that load quick and ones... The, these adverts... You push a button and it pops up straight away, block this ad, then it's gone. And then every other time it does this and it takes forever. It takes forever to do it. And it's actually so infuriating to actually do the process out of your, um, you know, you're just sat relaxing watching a video. It's actually distressing. The Advertising Standards Agency aren't going to do anything about this or Ofcom because they're people in charge on their boards and the government, they've put them there to actually um, chew on this. They, they like it. It's their new little toy. It's their new thing, right? But to us, this is the new weapon of the politicians and their corporate allies, their corporate partners, their corporate friends, Rishi Sunak, investors. This is the new, this is this is better than having to go around putting Lib Dem leaflets through the door or Tory leaflets or have a picture of um, Alex Salmon with um, Ed Miliband in his pocket on a billboard. This is right into your house on any day of the week, any blanket of people, any joke, any pun, any wisecrack, make any point in any way. 
in any form and by any means whatsoever, whichever of their best pal mates they want to do it, you know, Twix, Kellogg's, you know, um, Miss, Miss Muffins or whatever pal they're having dinner with, they can, um, you know, make it so, number one, make it so. Oh, it's, it's, it's Patrick Stewart on the Enterprise. We need to stop this. The world is not a point of sale. There's something extremely wrong with the whole model of YouTube and these platforms. There's something wrong with advertising. I'm watch I've been watching this this um doctor, right? Chris Van Tulsen, right? Tul Tulkin, sorry, right? And he is going on about all these companies and the advertising and all this um, technology compelling us to eat all these foods. If you eat a whole... Right? And he's doing this talk and he is... He is the guy that has inspired me, right? Uh, one of the guys besides um, Tim Spector and, oh, and you know, Sten Ekberg and... and, and um, Eric Berg, because these guys, it's not just the food, it's the food industry, and the food industry is the advertising industry, yet this guy is actually working for an affiliate with the WHO, who are the ones who are trying to take his political rights away from us and override them when we need to get political rights so we can get on the internet, and so we can actually speak out and oppose these things that are happening to us through these ads, even oppose Google. But Google are taking, even taking Senator Rand Paul's videos down. We were ta even taking Senator Rand Paul's videos down. Senator Rand uh, Paul Rand is a doctor, but he's not. His background isn't a lawyer, although he's a senator and he holds a lot of hearings. But it's not his main. His main subject isn't law. So he just gets advised on, you know, what he learns on by other people. His main subject is that he's a doctor, although he, I think he's a good senator. If he had, if he would have been better at law, he wouldn't. They wouldn't have even touched his videos on YouTube, and this is the problem. I there's something YouTube, even the the, the staff. I, I would love to see the whole YouTube staff lined up in a um you know in 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 a witness um you know um I, ID parade, you know in rank you know whether it's in rank order or what order. So we can know who these people are, because these people are they. I I don't know how they ended up like this, but that they believe they're above the government. They actually think they're above the government. It, they, they must think they're on some Starship Enterprise now when they're at work. I think that Mark Zuckerberg does think that he is. They can even take down Australian Parliament videos and senators. They must be on some hell of a power trip, you know, upset, up, up claiming they're just doing what Biden says. But no, they're not, because, you know, uh, what about Congress? You know, this is... There, there is some um, entity with Google and we need to stop it. It believes that it has an executive power of inter interplanetary, well, global, not interplanetary, global authority, some sort of global overriding of government powers. How it got that, I don't know, but that's what the WHO are doing. But this this, this guy who's meant to be, you know, I like this, this, this guy here, you know, but he's advocating the WHO, but they're trying to take his rights away from us. You know, and then they're in with the whole pandemic enigma. You know, it, 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 I, I don't get these people because the, some of these people are drifters. You know, it, it's the one minute they're drifting, you know, we've got to save the planet and save the people's health. But then they're drifting, you know, then they're on WHO, now we've got to take everyone's rights away, you know. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter if the virus is even, you know, done on purpose. It wouldn't even matter if the virus was accidentally or purpose done once the WHO shut down the whole world, you know, and I was all locked in his rooms. 
e EMT Mobile trying to get everyone to have motion detectors fitted. Um, Bill Gates is buying everyone's houses in America, um, all owned by corporate. Um, going to have compulsory motion detectors fitted on them. You know, uh, if they, if uh, even if a virus is sent on purpose by China, the WHO would theoretically be able to say, "Oh well, tough. Oh well, it was done on purpose. It was a it was a weapon. So what? Um, you know, the effects of it are you can't leave your houses, and now we've we own all your houses, and we've got motion detectors there. And if you leave your houses, then you're going to be under arrest." You know, and we'll send the robot dogs to bite you. This this guy is he, he, he's walking a fine line. He, he's drift. He's a drifter, and he, he he's drifting from one extreme side to the other. I don't think the World Health Organization organization are the people to trust. You know, um, and then the other issue is, you know, the only people that seem to be able to save us are the people that are getting everyone's got to be able to hear them and listen to them. And one of the main social problems at the moment is sociopaths and entertainment. Although I'm not saying that you can't have, you know, like open university or programs that are, um, you know, health, socially healthy, but they, they've they all been pushing wrong behaviour and the wrong kind of social interactions, not, actually nurturing communities and relationships and people going off doing their own thing, you know. Um, but that's the downfall of having been able to speak. You've got to be heard. That That's the problem with it, you know. But, you, you, they were, you know, I mean, look at the anonymous group. They, they aren't that so much bothered about their identity unless they are already famous, but they don't want to be associated with um, the anonymous from their other, um, you know, um, doings or whether it's just completely that they don't think it's a good idea generally. But then, you know, there's, there's trust issues. You know, that's the thing with household names. People used to trust them, even if they were giving out bad advice or selling bad products. I really don't like this phone. It, it, I didn't, I nearly bought a Google phone, but I didn't get one. And I thought I would, this Oppo phone, I thought that I'd not got a Google phone. Now, it turns out when Oppo say, oh, it's Google fun, basically. It's all Google, right? I really want to go back to Samsung because it's got less Google stuff in it. It has to have Google working with it, but it's got... This Oppo is deeply embedded now. Google, of it's completely taken over the phone. All of these things are compulsory requirements to for it to work now. That's entrapment, you know... Uh, Consent, submit, accept. You might as well take over your breathing. You might as well have your phone take over your breathing. You know, Tim Spector's trying to get people to, you know, inject devices into them and have, you know, devices fitted. But once that device controls your breathing, for example, you know, accept, submit, consent, you know, well, you know, we'll have to, you know, your battery's going on your heart monitor. Oh, well, you have to pay up or we won't be able to remotely charge it for you. Now we've got remote battery charging. You know, it's, it's another six pounds to have your heart monitor um, remotely charged. Um, Tim Spector, you know, we pay up or, you know, it's, the battery's going to run down. Down, you know, it was getting close to assisted suicide. You know, this is, you know, that's a joke, but, you know, it, it, it it's not funny. I don't like what Tim Spector and this guy, uh, Chris, this Chris guy, are doing at the moment. They're straddling a very wide path between two very opposite political uh, affiliations. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, and we're meant to be relying on these people at the moment um, to, you know, for some sort of um, hope. Yet they are straddling a very wide path. You know, we, if the, the Advertising Standards Authority and the Ofcom are going to do nothing about this because I don't think that, firstly, the staff, I don't, think that all of the staff have got the capacity to understand it fully and even if they did they're on this court they're put in their place and they're under the affiliated regime themselves in their departments like the new department of innovation and technology which bill gates has conjured out of um michelle donald's back pocket you know um, it, it's all for this. It's like this is why we. This is really why they planned 
the ASA and Ofcom for this. So they could we could start complaining about this and that, this and that. Not the whole thing. Not that the whole thing's a bad idea. You know, it, 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 there were already extremely alarming legal issues that no one's talking about, no one's addressed, alarm bells are ringing, and now they're trying to um, make it all okay by, you know, everyone's getting a message saying, oh, now you're going to medical records on the computer, you know? So it doesn't even matter whether you're going to the doctors for it private or not, you look at your house, you have your mobile phone next to you. I don't like it. And what, what I really don't like about it is this. With Google, the Fiverr website, or, you know, um, Amazon, or whether it's, you know, um, Ditchuncor or whatever American company it is, right? These people, we don't know who they are. We don't know the last names. We don't know anything about them. They don't want to end in illegal conversations. They they claiming they can you know terminate communication and accounts for any reason or no reason when half of those reasons are unlawful. But apparently they can have they can have them. Um, you know we can't do certain things. It's illegal, but they can do it for any reason or no reason, or even illegal reasons, as long as they don't have to speak to us about it and you know tell us what the real reason is. So we're being assimilated by f w w Donald Trump's wall, they've built the wall already, and it, it, it is the corporate wall, and all of the companies have been bought by the bigger companies, and it's, they've now all been staff trained and groomed to this behaviour, and it'll do this protocol and procedure. We know nothing of them. We know nothing of these people, and all our information is at the fingertips of the Starship Enterprise now, including all the um, information on the government from Freedom of Information. Yet, I worked out that because the company's house, every company is in the company's house and got a certificate of HM government, every company should be liable to Freedom of Information because it's a company's house company. Every company is a company's house company, so it's government. So you should be able to get information from any company. Um, they should be uh, required to give information over, although now they're saying they're not giving anything over. I think that they can. Uh, but they're attempting to... We're being... We are being... guinea-pigged. We're, we're being turned into the um, rat ranchero science lab uh, within our own homes and at the work environment by these big corporate entities who are and, and, you know, they're claiming it's off, patting us on the head, it's going to be okay, it's all for the good, stroke the little, you know, rodent's head, eek, 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 you know, everything's going to be good, we're going to put you on some new food, and then we're going to, you know, give you a little injection, and then we're going to, uh, you know, you're not allowed to do this anymore, you're not allowed to do that anymore, you can't squeak this, you can't squeak that, you know, and then, um, you know, we're going to have this mobile phone, just, you know, you know, put the pen in your squeaky little mouth and, you know, give it a little squiggle, accept, consent, submit. We need some sort of willful, we need the, you know, the will, you know, it's like casting the spell, you know, consent, you know, if it's, it's all the magic doesn't work if you don't consent to it, you know, walking down the road. Hello, sir, I tip my hat off to you. Ah, good morning, sir. Um, spin around three times, sir. Uh, dance a jig and give me ten press ups on the floor. I beg your pardon, sir. Um, con submit, consent, accept. Um, give me hundred push ups on the floor now, soldier. Um, five hundred push ups and then, um, do me a truffle shuffle. Um, you know, do me the truffle shuffle. And now, you know, hop on the left leg, hop on the right leg. You know, consent, submit, accept. You know, now you know that your guinea pigs are trained. Um, you know, and groomed to obey. You know, this is not the world that we live in unless it's the world of David Cameron and, you know, um, Boris Johnson. Because, you know, um, the, their world is their peers. You know, they go out on these rampages in Oxford, you know, when they're youths. And apparently if their peers support it, then they're protected from prosecution. As it turns out, um, in the uh, Petition of Right, you know, 1620s, apparently, you know, um, even if you get prosecuted, it's either by the rule of law or by the judgment of your peers. So, you know, Piers Morgan, you know, it's, you know, Boris Johnson and David Cameron, apparently, you know, and, and Reese Mogg, you know, on GB News Unlawfully, as little consent from their peers, they can do it. 
this is how, um, you know, unless we can convince them otherwise, which is why Boris ended up being in a bit of trouble because people start complaining. But otherwise, if they can convince you, you know, they, you know, this, this is how they're doing it. This is how Keir Starmer is continually evading um, liability. This is how the most of the government are, you know, uh, and the CPS, because at the end of the day, the police are a peerage. If the police have their own peerage and they're not going to prosecute each other because they're the ones who deal with prosecutions, then there is no one to prosecute them. Say with the CPS and the judges, they've got their own in fact, it's the perfect peerage because they're in control of the legal system, you know. Um, it's better than a jury, you know, because you don't even get into a court with a jury if you've not brought anything against anyone, you know, and if you're the ones who deal with it, then there won't be anything. This is how they do it. I We, we need to get Robert F. Kennedy Jr. into, or Marianne Williamson, into the presidential position as quickly as possible because i don't like what they're doing to us i don't like it and at the end of the day it's all about this this is what it's all about the whole thing this is what it's all about this stuff because they want this stuff this is what they want this is what rishi wants this is what Charles wants. This is what Senator Rand Paul wants. This is what Trump wants. This is what, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. They want these things, these gadgets. There it is, as real as real can be. Go walk up to it and knock on it. Knock, 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 knock. That's no metaverse. That is a big bulk of metal machine parts made by the world's leading scientists. They made it. It exists. It's there. You can go there. It, they're living the dream. Yet, they, this is what it's all for. All your visits to Little with a shopping bag, all your national lottery tickets, all your pork pies, your sausage rolls, all the widgets in the widget factory, all the clapping in the audience at Graham Norton, facing the front, sitting in the chair, pull the lever, get on a rocket ship to Mars, all the laughs, the jokes, the TV game shows. This is what it is for. So they can have this because this is what we're all doing this is why we exist on earth this is the only reason we exist this is why we're breathing no human organism on this planet deserves life if they're not here to make this for these men if we're not making this stuff for these men, we're not helping the human race. We're not making progress for mankind. You know, life's not about, you know, you know, this is not what life's about. This is no longer what is the point in being on this planet. It's, it's no longer... Any point in being on this planet is to wake up, breathe in the oxygen, you know, say hello to your parents, say hello to your neighbours, walk through the village. This is no longer relevant to anything because there's no mobile phone in this house, there's no ads in this house, there's no conservatory to build on, there's no motion detectors to put outside, there's no crime to fight, there's no security surveillance cameras for the Secretary of State for the Home Office, there's no facial recognition to buy and build and pay for, there's no robot dogs to make, there's no Rishi Sunak CBCDs to make. There's no holidays to Dubai to have. There's, you know, there's no McDonald's to drive through. There's nothing like that. But this is now medieval. This is not progress to Barry Sheehan and MP. This is going backwards, backwards. Growing vegetables in your garden and eating healthy. Playing with your kids in the garden. Going for walks in the woods, even with the dogs. You know, even if this house is, you know, from the beach and you're playing volleyball, you know, even if you've got a hot tub in there, well, someone's got to make the hot tubs, you know, whether, you know, whether or not it's warm enough in the summer to go in the stream, 
This is not the purpose of being a human being. It clearly never has been the purpose of being a human being to the majority of human beings because everyone in Coventry would have a house like this. Everyone in Birmingham, everyone in Walsall would have a house like this and there would be no need for security or surveillance cameras. But something, something makes me think that even if everyone, even if suddenly all the houses magically changed and spaced out, um, you know, spread out into Northumbria and everyone had a bit of space around them, even if every person in England suddenly appeared in this house, you know, I still think that they would want to have a security camera in your houses and rooms in central government so they could see what you're up to. Are you making a bomb? Are you going to blow up somewhere? Are you, you know, you know, but where? You might blow up the robot factory. What robot factory? There is no robot factory, you know. What um, Elon Musk's um, secret headquarters, but... I'm quite happy here playing with my children. I don't need to think of any dumb stuff like that. What weird experiments are you doing in the cellar with, you know, drugs, you know, or whatever it is, um, you know. But still, still, even if they could correct all the greed, all the corporate greed, the excess trillions, I just don't think that this parliament, if given the option to click their fingers magically, I just don't think that they wanted to click their fingers. So it would, who would live in a house like this with a wardrobe and uh, kids and um, a wife and a dog and a job? You know, I just, I still, you know, if, you know, okay, you know, can we all evens, all evens, all evens? No. They don't, they don't, they want is this. This is what they want, and this is what we're having. In fact, your mobile phone's going to turn into a miniature version of one of these and carry you off into space, you know, and if you're lucky, you might come back, you know. This is it. It's all or nothing for Rishi Sunak. It's this or it's their way or the highway. Well, it is the highway. All human resources, technology, attention now. No one is born on this planet if it is not to serve this interest in the elite. Now, you're not worth living. You know, you're, you're not worth breathing anymore unless it is for this end, except the odd uno. Now they're giving us, Rishi Sunak's giving us a bonus. He's giving us all, you know, some money now. We can all claim £400. You know, it's the cost of living. But guess what? All that cost of living money, everyone's going to spend it on food and products, and then the it's all going to go into the companies, and then the companies are going to make a profit on it, and then some of it's going to go into tax. And who invest in those companies? Rishi Sunak and Reese Mogg. And then they're going to make a profit. So all the money that the government are giving you, it might as well be Gordon Brown selling the gold off. Because it's just going to go, they're going to give it to you, and they're going to pass me judge to the left-hand side. And it's either going to go partially straight back to government or straight into the pockets of Jake and Reese Mogg and investors for these rocket ships. So, you know, enjoy your cost of living bonus while you've got it, while the water th runs through your fingers, because you won't hold on to it for long at the prices they're charging, because it's all going towards this. The only purpose that organisms evolved on this planet and, you know, millions of years of evolution from a slime to a monkey and now to a human. And uh, Elon Musk was born and all that millions of years of evolu evolution. And now Elon Musk is going to uh, get a drop of liquid nanoparticles and transform you into a zigurguaga. Whatever that is, we don't know, but we're going to soon find out. And if uh, he hasn't finished his off with a drop of fucking, you know, um, helix fucking, you know, um, you know, spinal fluid, then he, we're going to be transformed into this thing because you're going to be Optimus Prime soon and transform into that thing, you know. So that is, you know, you know, tough. This it, 
and and they're doing that to us. That's what the grooming is through the phones. That's what the grooming is through the TV. That's what the grooming is through everything. You are doing this consent, submit, accept, or your medical records on file, or your actions, or your behaviours is going to be bent to do this because this is what they're doing. This is a no one else has got an opinion because the machines will be coming down the fucking super highways and the M1 around you while you're trying to get to the fucking beach to play volleyball. And that ain't going to mean diddly squat for these things. Out of the way, Peck. There's got to be something in the existence of the human, the meaning of life has got to be more than being a worker drone for Musk and Zuckerberg. It has got to be. Whether you can knock on the side of that thing and it's real or it's um, you know Zuckerberg's meta version of it, pretend version, because humans evolved to live in a real world over millions of years. They didn't... You don't throw away a million years of evolution to live in the metaverse you know uh, it, it's you know it's too quick it's too it's almost like some kind of weird magician trick it, it's coming on too quick for for what it took to get here it doesn't feel right to suddenly go click oh you're in the metaverse and now you don't need to live in that world anymore you know it, 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 the eyeballs didn't evolve to be a um component because you, you know even if we designed and built components you know in, in the last hundred years even you know computer screens why would you give up a million years of actual real eyeballs for digital eyeballs that elon was created within one lifetime would your all your ancestors you know forgive you if you know um, the car, the used car salesman comes up to you. Hey, yeah, I bought a pair of you know digital eyeballs. You know, well, you know, quite like mine. You know, seeing those, just like you know, five hundred generations of um, humans here. You know, um, you know, well, uh, yes, but um, it's the, the Tesla balls. You know, oh, well, if you, you should have said if they're Tesla balls. You know, I've got a slice of golf ball here. I'll swap you two of them. You know, so you can trust me. I mean, Elon Musk, how long have you been around here? Well, about, about 60, 70 years. Getting knocking on a bit now, getting towards 60, 70. Um, but don't worry, you know, you can trust me. You know, it's my old rocket ship, you know. This is it. it, it, it it's, I, I've, I've, I've heard less serious conversation than what I'm coming out with from Mr. Sunak and Elon Musk. I, I've seen Elon Musk and Sunak sat in front of the world um, talking and they've said less important things, you know. Uh, even though in his lab, Musk has got all the ones and zeros, you know, to make these rockets burn, baby. You know, um, we can turn this baby on. You know, watch it fire up. Yeah, I can fire it up. You know, this is this is it. You know, we we need to have some people talking who are questioning what is this tech you've got on my phone. Why is it on there? I don't like it. It's annoying. What? You're a you're a pauper. You're a poor man. You know, paupers, you know, have to listen to our adverts. Consent, submit, accept. Vote for Tracy Brabin, the mayor of West Yorkshire. You know, and the, the annoying adverts. Oh, he, he, the little imps popping up on the phone. Ah, talking about teeth, are you? Ha, ha, ha. Well, I've got these for you. Well, actually, no, I don't want to see that. Well, you'll have to wait five seconds and then block me. And then I'll just uh, pop up a different advert the next time. And that's going to annoy the lot of you, too. Well, actually, this entire, the entire advertisement um, framework is actually doing my head in. And I've complained to my doctor. I want exemption. I want free medical exemption from all Google ads. Hmm, but then, you know, I wouldn't know what they're doing to the rest of the people, you know. You know, don't worry about what we're doing to the rest of the people. They will consent, submit, and accept. They will, you know.